uh, uh, William some more minutes tonight. Um, he's such a skillful, influential, influential player. I guess because of fitness issues, we, we might not have even seen his best yet. How do you get to? How do you get him to that point where you know where he can do what we know he can do, basically? Well, I think he started really well with his first game against Fulham, um, and then yeah, we've been changing the, from three. He had an injury, and he didn't have any time to train. He didn't have any precision. He was later than the others, and they need to generate that cohesion, that understanding, um, those relationships on the pitch between the front players, the wide players in order to things to work better. I can see a development in the last two games and uh, the understanding of things that uh, I asked him to do with probably are different um, what uh, things that he's used to it. But um, he's getting better and better and uh, we all know the quality that he has and he's a great option to have on the pitch. How important will his skill and experience be um, in deciding tight, crucial games? Yes, I think he's a player that can make the difference, as you said, is got the ability to find um, that last uh, action to open the, the door when everything is really tight, to score a goal, to create an assist, and as well the personality understanding that he has on the pitch uh, to to manage the game the way we need to in certain moments. And at Old Trafford, I think he did that really well as well. Thank you. Mark Irwin. In the, in the league, you clearly showed things out very well. You've got a very good defensive record. But you haven't been scoring many goals. Is, is that a consequence of the fact that you've had to keep things so tight just to get you over this sort of initial burst of games? Well, I think it's a combination of everything. If you look at the schedule that um, we had and the features that we played since uh, we can pack this season and the top team that we played Liverpool three times, Man City as well. Obviously, it's not a game that you're going to score a lot of goals. Something that uh, we mentioned in the last few weeks that we have improved not only the goals, but the creativity, the consistency that we needed in the final third uh, and being more productive. Um, the last few weeks, we found teams with lower blocks We've been training that more, we've been experiencing that more throughout the games and uh, through the night you could see a, a big improvement as well. And that's probably the final bit that we need uh, as a team because in other many areas we have improved a lot. You also mentioned the number of games you've played. But after this game, there's another international break with three more games. How much of a problem is that you guys when, when your players are suddenly being asked to play all these extra games? Yeah, it's an issue for all the managers and all the clubs, I think, uh, because some of them, they will play the three games, you know, and they already played a lot of minutes. So sometimes we have to manage those players while they are with the clubs, which is a little bit crazy, but, uh, but we need to protect our players. And then the countries that they will be traveling to, the exposure that we get, it's nothing that we can change at the moment. Um, we have to accept it and do our best to protect the players, which is the most important thing. 